May you live in interesting times. I'd like to talk about the origin of that expression while enjoying a pipe. Howdy all, Virginia Piper here. Before I get started, I wanted to let you know that two prominent YTPCers, Cupboard of the Shire, aka Stephen, and Simon from London Calling, have likely contracted the coronavirus. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. I've been thinking a lot lately about the expression, may you live in interesting times. What makes it unusual is that it sounds like a blessing when in fact, it's quite the opposite. The implication is that during uninteresting times, there's nothing to worry about. The wish, therefore, is for the recipient of the message to live in times of danger and uncertainty. The phrase was introduced to the world at large in 1939 by Frederick R. Coder at the Proceedings of the Academy of Political Science. Here's what he said. Some years ago in 1936, I had to write to a very dear and honored friend of mine who has since died, Sir Austin Chamberlain, brother of the present prime minister. And I concluded my letter with a rather banal remark that we were living in an interesting age. Eventually, he read the whole letter because by return mail, he wrote to me and concluded as follows. Many years ago, I learned from one of our diplomats in China that one of the principal Chinese curses heaped upon an enemy is, may you live in an interesting age. Surely, he said, no age has been more fraught with insecurity than our own present time. And that was three years ago. In 1966, Robert Kennedy used the phrase in a speech at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. Here's an excerpt. There is a Chinese curse which says, may he live in interesting times. Like it or not, we live in interesting times. They are times of danger and uncertainty, but they are also more open to the creative energy of men than any other time in history. Well, gotta tell you, the idea that the expression could have come from China well, seems plausible. I mean, it sounds like an enigmatic message that you might find in a fortune cookie. But here's the catch. There's no such Chinese expression. So says Tory Whitman, president of the China Institute in New York City. He happens to be an expert in Chinese proverbs and sayings. Fred R. Shapiro, who is the editor of the Yale Book of Quotations, notes that no authentic Chinese saying to this effect has ever been found. In addition, Ralph Keyes stated in the quote verifier that nobody has ever been able to confirm the Chinese origin claim. Now that said, there may be a Chinese connection after all. You see, the concept appeared in a short story written in China in 1627. The story was called The Oil Peddler Wins the Queen of Flowers, in which the main characters were driven from their home during a time of war. Here's a passage from the story. Thirsty, hungry, they bore all manner of hardships. Where would they have a home to call their own again? They prayed to heaven, earth, and their ancestors not to let them run into the jurchens. Truly, better be a dog in days of peace than a human in times of war. Regardless of the origin of the expression, 
it most certainly can be said that we live in interesting times. And like in times past, we'll prevail. We're in this together. Have a great one, y'all, and stay safe.